Hey guys, uh, welcome to this uh, exercise for the Kirchhoff's rule. Uh, so for today, uh, ito yung problem natin. So determine the current in each resistor. And we have this loop. This is quite complex kasi hindi mo siya masasolve ng ohms law lang. So as you can see, uh, we have two voltage source dito. So we have 24 uh, volts positive ay nasa taas. Then, we have this 12 volts na battery na nasa baba. And, uh, we have this 3 resistors. So, now, paano natin isosolve to? So, we, we can use the Kirchhoff's rules or Kirchhoff's laws. And, if you check or if you can remember, we have two rules under the Kirchhoff. So, first, we have the Kirchhoff's current law the KCL or also known as the junction rule. Then we have the Kirchhoff's voltage law. So for the KCL or the junction rule, it's just the summation of the currents entering equal to the summation of the currents uh, going out of a certain junction. So the example ng junction natin dito ay ito. So we have this Junction. So let's say this is your junction X, then this is your junction Y. For the case of KVL, uh, ito yung tinatawag din na loop rule, and this is just a consequence of your law of conservation of energy. So paano to? Ganito lang siya. So yung summation ng voltages sa isang loop ng mga elements na kaya may I dito should be equal to zero. So, paano sa case na to? So, first, nag-define tayo ng dalawang junction. We have junction X, junction Y. Then, may magde-define din ako ng arbitrary current for this case. Uh, so, sige, color blue na lang. So, let's say we have this current I0. Then, we have this current, uh, let's say this is current I2. Then, this is our current I1. So, yung bababa dito sa 6 ohms, that's your current I1. Then, yung pupunta sa 2 ohms mo, that's your I2. Then, yung dadaan dito sa 12 volts na battery, it's still your current I2. Then, pagating sa junction na to, sa may Y, ay magkocombine ulit si I1 mo and I2 at siya ay magiging I0 ulit. Na siya rin dadaan dito sa 24 volts na battery mo. So, we have I0 sa so, so part na yan. Then, magdi-define tayo ng dalawang loop. We have this first loop. Let's say this is loop A. <clears throat> then, this one. This is loop B. Ayan. Medyo masikip na sila. Pero, sige, okay lang yan. So, let's start tayo. So, let's start with the KCL. <clears throat> so, we have the junction rule. So, kung dadaan yung current mo, so, junction X, we have your I0, yung papasok na current, ay equal dapat sa current na lalabas. So, we have current I1 and I2. And we have this equation. So, let's say this is equation 1. Same case for the uh, junction Y, pero hindi ko na siya sa sulat kasi kung titingin mo, we have I2 plus I1. Then, equal lang siya sa I0. So, it's similar lang with this one. So, enough na tong equation na to. So, next. Let's apply the loop rule or the Kirchhoff's voltage law. So, for loop A, we have the following. So, ang rule dito, kapag uh, you're following the current, so let's say, sa case na, so, ikot natin ay clockwise for, for both loops. Kung pinafollow mo yung, uh, yung flow ng current and define mo. So, for this case, we have I1, let's say. Yung value ng current na yan ay negative. So, you're going downhill, isipin nyo. So, for this case, for your loop A, we have your uh, negative I1 times 6 ohms minus, so, we have yung dadaan tayo ng 4 ohms uh, na resistor na may current na I0 and still negative siya kasi we're following the, the flow of your current 4 ohms plus now for the case of batteries or your your voltage source 
if you're going from negative part to positive part ng uh, battery mo, it's positive. So, it means na you're, you're going up from negative to positive. So, parang potentially, yung potential niya ay nag increase So, we have your positive V. So, that's uh, 24 volts. And this is equal to zero. Be sa Kirchhoff's uh, voltage law. Now, for loop B, following the same sign convention, the same Kirchhoff's voltage law or loop rule, so, una, daan muna tayo sa 2 ohms. So, 2 ohms, we're following the still, the current I2. So, we have negative I2, 2 ohms, then, dadaan tayo ng 12 volts na battery. Uh, but, ang flow natin ay from positive terminal to negative terminal. So, bumababa tayo papuntang negative. So, we have negative 12 volts uh, using our sign convention. Then, other than tayo na 6 ohms. So, 6 ohms, uh, we're against the current. So, that's current I1. Based on the natin current kanina. So, that's positive. Uh, 6 ohms, I1. Or, yan, binaliktad ko lang. Ay, sorry, this should be I1. And this should be equal to 0. Okay, so now, uh, we have these 3 equations. And um, actually, we have three unknowns for this problem. So, yung I0 mo, yung I2, and yung I1. Take note na uh, arbitrary lang yung direction ng currents na nilagay natin dito. And malalaman natin later kung ano ba talaga yung actual direction niya. Based sa sign, kung negative or positive ba yung current na makakalculate natin. So, let's start first uh, with the... or, or using our equations 1 and 2. So, makikita nyo ito, equation 1 at equ equation 2, equation 3. So, we substitute uh, equation 1, yung I0, the expression I0 ng uh, junction rule, to equation 2. And you will have this one. So, negative I1 is 6. Ikaw na nalagay ohms para hindi ganong sumikip dito sa sinasulat ko. Minus quantity I2 plus I1. So, sa nang galing yun? Yung substitute niya. Sinubstitute ko yung, uh, yung I0 na value ng equation 1 ko para mawala na I0 dito sa equation natin. So, parang actually systems of equation lang to kung naalala nyo sa uh, high school algebra nyo. So, plus 24 and this is equal to 0. Now, so ano na to? So, simplify lang natin further itong uh, equation na to. Distribute mo yung 4 tsaka yung negative sign dyan. So, we have negative I2, 4. Then, we have negative I1, uh, 4. Plus, 24 is equal to 0. And, uh, pwede mo na combine yung I1 na to. So, and, yun lang naman actually. So, we have uh, negative 10. I1 minus 4 I2 plus 24 is equal to 0. And tatawagin ko tong equation number 4. So, huwag malili to. So, equation number 4 to. Okay? So, lagyan ko na suro ng line sa ilalim. Para hindi kayo mali tong uh, label lang yan ng equation. Next, anong pwede natin gawin? So, we can get the... Uh, I1, the expression of I1 or current I1 using equation 4. So, ito yung equation 4 natin. Kunin natin yung expression ng I1. So, madali lang yun. Uh, basic algebra. So, we have I1 is equal to negative 4 I2 plus 24 over 10. And, tatawagin ko tong equation 5 ko. Okay, and meron na tayong 5 equations. Uh, for now, mag-focus muna tayo sa equations 5 and 3. So, ano ang next step? So, next step is substitute uh, equation 5 to equation 3. So, ano ginagawa ko? Gusto kong mawala yung I1 dito sa equation 3 para ma-solve ko na yung value ni I2. 
So, ano lang to Substitution method ng uh, solving ng systems of equation. So, we have uh, I2, then we have this 2, minus 12, plus 6. Pero, uh, we have this expression of I1, this equation 5. And therefore, uh, we have this one. So, for I2 plus 24 over 10, this is equal to 0. Okay? So, ang pwede natin gawin dito, so, mag-multiply tayo both sides ng 10 para mawala yung denominator na yan. And therefore, we have uh, 20 I2 minus 120. Then, we have this uh, 24 I2 plus 144. And this is equal to 0. Then, uh, madali na lang to. So, we have uh, negative uh, 44 I2 plus 24 is equal to 0. So, thus, uh, we have this value of I2 is equal to 6 over 11 or approximately uh, about 0 0.545 amperes. Okay? So, ayan. May I2 na tayo. So, ano next? Using equation 5. So, uh, we have this equation 5. Uh, we can get na yung I1 natin. Kasi alam na natin si I2 eh. So, ayan. Madaling na lang yung mga next steps. So, we have uh, negative 4 uh, uh, ayan, times 0.545 plus 24 over 10. And this is equal to a value about 2.182 amperes. Ayan. So, last. Para makompleto na. Using equation 1, yung uh, junction rule natin, so we can get the value of I0. So, the value of I0, you may alam mo na si I1 and I2. So, that's about 2.727 amperes. And that's it for this uh, video. Thank you.